Joining us now with reaction to New Jersey mom of two, Kristen Sinclair. Kristen, this story has my blood just boiling. I, I'm literally in shock about it. So tell me, this came out in 2020 when we were all just trying to get the schools open, right? Absolutely. It's, it's very shameful that the groups that put this curriculum together did so while everyone was being told to hide in your house and worry about, you know, the air was filled with COVID. And they were intending on changing our children's hearts and minds in 2022 yeah. when everything was better. It's, it's very frustrating, but we've been on top of it, my group, in the last year. So we were ready for this fight for the summer. So here's what the education guidelines say. They say, discuss the range of ways people express their gender and how gender role stereotypes may limit behavior. Three R's, pink, blue, and purple. Um, they also say, define gender identity and gender role stereotypes. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff in here. I think probably the most shocking is that one of the resources that they offer uh, teachers to talk or to offer in their curriculum is a website called Amaze. And this Amaze website really normalizes porn. It's it's in an animated um, format that makes it super kid friendly and fun and tells kids that, you know, it's normal and there's all kinds of very sexually explicit material, correct? Yes. And that organization is assisting the uh, curriculum developers in New Jersey, but the real drivers behind this are the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. Yes. Tammy Murphy worked closely with um, Advocates for Youth, so they found a way to connect with kids with what they're used to doing, playing on their devices and watching little cartoons, but they've taken away what the truth is about pornography, which there that's a driver of human trafficking, abuse, and that's where it's going to lead for children when they're told this is okay to look at. They're being ripened for grooming for sexual abuse by adults. Yeah, there's so many motivations in this, including separating children from their parents' values. Um, Kristen, tell me really quick, what can parents in New Jersey do to fight this? So I would encourage parents to join chaosandcontrol.substack.com. That's our newsletter where we keep parents across the state of New Jersey up to date on op options for opting out of various curriculum, um, gatherings that we're going to plan, options to go to your board meetings, bring congressional candidates. We've been doing that in my county, Burlington County, to let them know we mean business. And we've brought multiple congressional candidates to the meetings to help express that we are going to be voting out any candidate and any board member who allows us to have to be forced to take our kids out of school if this curriculum is not fixed as an opt-in versus an opt-out only. So that's yeah. what we're encouraging our parents to do is run for Board of Ed, take as many seats as you can in November, and we can change this. Well, good for you for fighting back. I'm, I'm, I'm a little more pessimistic that you won't be, they won't sneak ways to get it in there, even when the board members do that, um, you know, do get, get in there and fight. But I, I think your, your work is admirable. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. It was great to speak with you, Rachel.